Hi everyone, this is Robert Gephardt from ThisWeekIn.Asia. This Week in Asia specializes in news and interviews with entrepreneurs and upstarts from all over Asia. Today we're talking with Jeff Kuo from Ragic, that's R-A-G-I-C dot com. Ragic specializes in enterprise applications and cloud database systems, and they started in Taiwan but have now been expanding worldwide, and we're going to get into their story. Hi Jeff, thanks for joining me. Hi, Hi Robert, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Um, I was wondering if we could start with a brief introduction of Ragic by means of um, explaining what problem Ragic is trying to solve. Okay. Um, there's a well-known joke in the IT world that we, we say that Excel is actually the most popular database application in the world. But as we all know, that Excel is actually a spreadsheet program. It's not a database. But how in the world did a spreadsheet program become the most popular database in the world? It's because we think that Excel is very, very intuitive and easy to learn and easy to get started with. So, so that anybody, anybody who doesn't know how to code can use Excel to start managing their sales orders, their customer data within an hour. They just enter the fields name, field names that they want and they can create a spreadsheet form for people, for people to fill out. So it's just so easy and intuitive to get started. So the idea is that we want to make Ragic as simple and as intuitive as Excel that you can use it to manage data but without the pain of Excel. Because when you use Excel to manage it, you outgrow it very, very quickly because and if you have a lot of data, or if your data has a lot of complex relations, or when it deals with multiple users, if we have a team of users, it gets painful really quickly. But it doesn't, uh, for databases, it doesn't do that. It, databases are meant to design, designed to work with multiple users and a lot of data and complex relations. So we want to combine these two properties of the simplicity of a spreadsheet and the power of the database, and we want to make them made them to be able to design a, a spreadsheet and then work like a database. So, and what would you say is the difference between Ragic and the other database management products that are out there that are available? Well, the, the way of database development has not changed in a very, very long time. Because basically, database development, they're based on um, applications like Access, Microsoft Access. So basically, you build a table, you try to build relations between them, you build a view, you build a u interface. The way of building database applications has been that way for a long time. And the reason that most non-technical people are not able to do that is that because this requires some speci specialized expert knowledge of how database works. And they need to know a lot of technical knowledge for them to use these kind of database builders. So the biggest difference is that we make the whole interface different from like Assets or any other database builders. We make it just like designing a spreadsheet interface, designing a spreadsheet form. So once you design, like you just type in all the names or the fields that you want on the spreadsheet form, and you can have even have relations between, inside them. And you don't need to open or design any database tables. The interface that you design it automatically becomes a database form, which can save data into the database. And of course, um, to do this, we have a very, very special backend, unlike a traditional relational database backend, to support this kind of very flexible, more intuitive way of database design. So I think the biggest difference is that we make the whole database design a lot more simpler uh, and a lot faster through this kind of spreadsheet interface. Okay, so yeah, a, a lot more simpler. But then if I were, say, I were a company, and how would, how would Ragic help me, and how would it help me, say, save money, which is what I'm interested in? What type of company would I be if I'm the typical target company of Ragic, let's say? Well, for starters, usually when you want to build a database, you need to either like call your IT department to get those guys to build one for you, or you want to outsource it outside to some other like IT consulting firms to build a custom database for you. But with this kind of tool, end users, they can build the database themselves because they know what they want the best. The reason that those software projects cost a lot of money is that just there's a lot of time in those communication overhead. They're trying to describe every single detail about their business process to a development IT guy. And then they can try to figure out a way to translate all those business requirements into code 
into database requirements and an actual database implementation. But if we can make database development a little bit simpler, then non-technical people can start building simple databases. They're the one who knows what they want the best. So they can build a database that fits their business process perfectly and without the, all those communication overheads that talking to, the, talking to the development people or the IT guy. They can build very, very nice working and very, very good databases for their own company and with a fraction of the time. And because you don't need to have all those developers involved and it costs a lot less money. Okay, so, but then if I already have a system in place, how easily could Ragic be integrated into the system or how easy could my system be exported into Ragic, let's say? Okay, um, well, there are two, situa two kind of scenarios that we're talking about here. The first one is that um, if you have an IT, IT department to do the coding for you, if you have the people to do the coding for you, we have an HTTP API that you can just um, write programs to insert data into the Ragic database programmatically and retrieve data outside out to their, your ERP or CRM system to do all these integrations with your code. But if you don't have any, any developers around available for, for Ragic, we also support Excel spreadsheet import and export. And you can at any time, like you have like 10,000 records in your database system, and you can prepare a spreadsheet that contains like 1,000 entries. You can import them into the database, and Ragic will match each of those, those records with each other to let, oh, this record need needs to be updated with your data on your spreadsheet. And then you can use spreadsheets to uh, do a bulk insert or bulk update into your database system. So this is a, a bit more manual, but this requires no no coding, no programmers need to be involved in this process. So there are kind of two ways to do this. Okay, but there is some sort of uh, integrated system like with Google Docs or with Excel um, and uh, wherein you can take information and, uh, and that you can have it transferred over to Ragic, is there not? Um, yeah, basically you can just download it as like Excel or CSV and you just upload it to Ragic. Oh, right. And okay, this yeah. requires no coding at all. Okay. Um, and uh, I guess just by way of an example, do you have a user case uh, with one of the companies you worked with, maybe one of the trusted companies on your website, um, mm -hmm. and what process you went through with them, and maybe what feedback you got from them as well? Okay. Um, I think one of the mo more interesting example is, yeah, it's, it's on our homepage too. It's the company Diageo. And well, Diageo is like pretty much the biggest producer of uh, spirit and liquor and, and beer in, in the world. And they have a lot of um, what we call promoter girls all over Taiwan. They have uh, over a hundred, like uh, about a hundred promoter girls. They're in all like the pubs, in restaurants. They are promoting their products there. And every day they need these promoter girls to write a kind of a sales report on how they did today and how much inventory they have in, in all those places. And of course, it's very hard to find a package that does exactly this because you know, this is a very special, um, well, everybody, every company has their special business process, and this is kind of special, and they cannot find a package for that. So this is kind of the place that is perfect for Ragic because we can build this kind of applications really fast and exactly according to their need. So we build this, kind, this type of uh, sales reporting mechanism. We have forms for those, all those promoter girls to fill out, and we have reports generated for their channel manager and their sales manager to, to, to read, and we have approval that they, the, sales, the sales girl um, supervisors and the sales, sales directors, they can do approval on these reports. So we pretty much did everything for these sales girls to do the um, sales reporting on Ragic. So it's it's extremely useful for them, and they use it on a day-to-day -day basis, and they can get a lot more clarity on their sales pipeline and how, how well these channels are doing with Ragic. Okay, and so this is Diageo Taiwan that's, that's using yeah, Ragic, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, because right. I, I saw some other companies on your website as well that, uh, yeah, you know, some worldwide companies there, uh, I think Intel and Amazon uh, that, were there, that were featured there. Well, yeah, um, our, our reach for the bigger companies, a lot of them, but because we're based in Taiwan, and we've been reaching most of the bigger companies with their Taiwan branch. Right, okay. So a lot of them are Taiwan branch. Some of them are the U.S. branch, too. 
And well, so uh, along those lines, what is the what's been the growth rate um, for Ragic, either in terms of client numbers or in revenue or any other metric, let's say? Um, we're still a small company right now, but since the beginning of this year, we've we've reached a certain point to uh, an accelerated growth. So because I think in the past few years, where our product is is um, growing in terms of making it easier and more friendly for people to use. And I think we've reached the point that it's become pretty easy for people to learn and begin using Ragic. So starting the beginning of this year, we have a month-to-month -month growth rate about 10 to 15 percent. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so, uh, so what does the future look like for Ragic then? Are there any future plans or what do you see in the future? Um, um, we, we want to do more of uh, Ragic expansion for, for the global market, for especially for the U.S., U.S., Canada, and Australia. So I think these are the markets that we're growing the fastest in. And, and as, as a vision, we want to be as popular and as easy as people are using Excel to match data right now. But we want all of this simplicity to come with the power of the database, not just an easy way to start using and painful to manage afterwards. We want them to be easy to start using and very easy to maintain. And once again, so people can reach you at uh, with ragic.com. That's R-A-G-I-C.com, like magic with an R, basically, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's rapid plus magic. Right. Okay, okay. Um, and, uh, and thank you. And once again, this was uh, Robert Gephardt with This Week in Asia, thisweekend.asia.